Well, I was gonna see if we, if we can do this thing where mm -hmm. um, it starts from my mouth and we zoom out. <laughs> hey, no, way. no. no. <laughs> All right, and welcome to the first episode of Funko Saturday. You like that intro? It's a pretty cool intro right there. <laughs> first things first, let's talk about exactly what Funko Saturday is. Pretty much from now on, every single Saturday, we'll be releasing a new episode of Funko Saturday. We'll be discussing Funko news. We'll also be reviewing new Funko Pops, or we'll be reviewing some Funko Pops that are from straight from my collection. And we'll also be going Funko Pop hunting as well. We'll be looking for either the newer Funko Pops that just recently came out, or some Funko Pops that I might be interested in collecting. So, without a further ado, let's go. Let's take it to the very first episode of Funko Saturday. Right. Yo, what's up? All right. What are we doing for today? All right. So right now, we're heading to uh, we're heading to the mall. We're gonna be help. We're gonna be <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be going into Hot Topic. We're gonna see what they have new in stock. Uh, and then after the Hot Topic, we're gonna be going to Hero Haven to see what kind of new Funko Pops they just got in stock as well. Hopefully we find something interesting. Hopefully we find something that's in our budget, you know, so we can like review it afterwards. Uh, we are, I am looking for one Funko Pop at Hot Topic. It is this new uh, Super Saiyan uh, Goku Black uh, Go in the Dark Funko Pop that just came out just recently. So it'd be kind of cool if we can get our hands on it. So hopefully, hopefully we find it. We'll see you guys at the mall. Now we're gonna head our way into Hot Topic. Hopefully we can find that Super Saiyan Goku Black uh, go in the dark pop in there. But if we find anything else, we'll show you guys. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're at the mall right now. And we're over here checking out the Funko Pops and everything like that. And we found this really cool Donatello uh, chocolate pop. As you can see, someone took a big chunk out of his head. <laughs> Which is pretty cool because this is like the first time that we I've seen a Funko Pop that's already like is open in his head. Because a lot of people say there's like stuff in like in the Funko Pop's head, which is not true. So don't please stop cutting your Funko Pops open. There's nothing in their heads. So stop ruining the pop, please. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're here at Hero Haven and chicken with your Funko Pops. And so far, we got some pretty cool pops that we got this. Uh, these new Goldo Burger and Jace, Jace Pops, these Bone the Dark ones that are exclusively only for Entertainment Earth. Um, which kind of sucks because, like, if you really want to collect all these Bone the Dark versions, you have to buy them separately. <laughs> it kind of stinks because there's like five of them, so each one just costs like $50. Or if you don't want the Bone the Dark version and you want them all together, you can get the full big bundle as well. Yeah. That's what you're interested in. Now that we finished going to, to Hot Topic, Box Lunch, and Hero Haven, now it's time for us to go back home and review these Funko Pops. All right, so we just made it back home, but before we get to the Hot, to before we get to review the pops that we bought from Hot Topic, we are gonna review my favorite, my top ten favorite Funko Pops from 2023. So let's let's jump into that right now. All right, so for number ten, my personal favorite. We got Toto right here. So this is just the, the common version of Toto. There is a glow-in-the-dark version, which you'll, that will show here in a little bit. Well, you check that out. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this this is uh, my number top. This is my number ten on my list. Uh, just a common Toto. So for number nine, we have Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, the glow-in-the-dark version from Box Lunch. Um, this one is kind of one of my favorite Funko Pops just because the, the glow on this is really, really nice. And it's the first time we really get to see Goku in his Kaioken form while being a Super Saiyan Blue at the same time, which is really, really unique. Right, on our number eight spot, we have Rui, Glow in the Dark. You're gonna see a lot of Glow in the Dark pops in this top 10 list. Um, so why is this my number eight on my list? Well, uh, Rui has one of the more unique glows in the Demon Slayer set. Um, Ren Goku's Glow in the Dark is pretty interesting, but Rui is just has a really nice, nice green glow to it and a nice blue glow as well, which I really like. So, on our number seven list, we have Yuno from Black Clover, the Glow in the Dark version, which sadly we don't have the Funko Pop for, but my friend does have a cop uh, does have a copy of it. Does own uh, does own a variant of it, so um, we will show some of his. 
his footage here in a little bit. On our number six spot, we have Spider Punk. This one is a really, really unique pop just because when this, when this pop first released on the Funko website, it just vanished just like that. So it was really hard to get, to get a Spider Punk. Um, they did restock it later on, like, like, in like after a couple months, and it also did sell out really quickly as well. But I'm really lucky that I, I got a chance to, to, get, a, to, get, a, um, to get one of these. On our number five list, we have Super Boo with Ghost, the, uh, chase, the chase version of it, which is also a child's collectible version as well. We do have the common version, but I do want to showcase the glow in the dark version just because the ghost glows in the dark, <laughs> which I thought was really cool as well. Also, it does have a really nice hot pink glow to it as well, which I also really like. On our number four list, we have Shinobu from Demon Slayer. This one right here is also another really unique pop from the Demon Slayer set. All the pops that they have in the Demon Slayer set, this one just kind of this one just stands out for each and every one of them just because of like all the butterflies that are surrounded by her you don't really get to see something like this every now and then on, my, on the number three spot we do have the dark magician girl so i have a personal connection with this pop just because as a kid i always watched Yu Gi Oh. i always collected the cards and dark magician girl was one of my favorite cards to collect so it's really nice to see an actual pop pop her um, as you can see, you, she does have some hearts surrounded, surrounding her, which we'll show you here in a minute, out of box. Alright, and then jumping to number two. So, this one is a little bit more, you know, hard to get your hands on, just because this was a con exclusive pop. So, on our number two list, we do have the Gelatinous Cube Glow in the Dark version from WonderCon. So, with this pop, um, when this pop was first released at the WonderCon convention, um, it, it did come with the WonderCon convention limited edition sticker instead of the 2023 WonderCon sticker. So a lot of people were kind of mad about that, but it's still it's still a really nice piece to have in my collection. Um, I do really like the, the glow that the, that the skeleton gives off in the cube. It's, it's really nice. And then the final one on my top 10 list. This one I hold dear to my heart just because it was not easy to get. So, my number one list, we have Reaper Freddy, uh, NFT Pop. So, this one right here, as you can see, it's just, it's just really, really cool looking. <laughs> um, there, there are only um, 1,550 pieces of this out in the world. So, if you're lucky enough to have one of these, uh, congratulations, and also you're really lucky to have it because this is a really nice pop as well to have. Um, this is more in the $300 price range, but it could drop down in price after a while. They are releasing a little bit. They are releasing a wave, a series three of the Halloween NFT pops in the future, where most most of them are going to dark. So this might drop down in price, or it might just go up in price. We'll, we'll never know. But this is a really nice pop to have in my set. I really like it. Alrighty, so that was my top 10 list from 2023. But now, now that we got over the top 10 list, we're gonna review what we got at Hot Topic. So, what we got at Hot Topic was we did get the Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. So, earlier I was saying this was glow in the dark. I was wrong. <laughs> it does not glow in the dark. Um, I was a little disappointed. I think I was just thinking of something else, to be honest. But it's still a really nice pop. To have. Home ransom video. That is not what you're <laughs> <filming>. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Funko News, where we talk about everything Funko related. So, first thing on Funko News, if you are a big fan of Yellow Jacket or House of Dragons, they just started. Uh, they just started shipping out their pre-orders, so you should be getting your uh, Funko pops either this week or next week. Um, second thing on the Funko News is um, there is a there are new NFT Funko Pops being released on January 9th at 2 p.m. Eastern Central Time. If you're a huge fan of Squid Games, then that should be something you should be 
looking out for. Me personally, um, they some of them look kind of cool, but you know, I'm, I never was a huge fan of Squid Games, so I definitely will skip over it. Um, also, there have been some new Jujutsu Kaisen pops that have been teased. Uh, some some of some of the characters that have been teased are, and pardon me for messing up their names, uh, Mi Wiz, uh, Momo, the ultimate Mekamura, and uh, Utahami. <laughs> Sorry, that one was pretty. That sounded that sounded a little racist. I apologize for that. <laughs> so hopefully we get to see more uh, Jujutsu Kaisen characters being teased for uh, for, for wave three of Jujutsu Kaisen pops. Um, I'm kind of hoping for Jogo. Um, he is a really cool uh, fire demon, and hopefully they have a glow in the dark variant for him as well. Maybe his volcano head can glow in the dark. I think that would be really cool. But uh, we'll see what uh, Funko kind of teases out here in the here in the upcoming weeks. Um, and then our final thing on Funko news is that there has been a new fluffy pop that has been spotted at Barnes and Nobles. It is a fluffy Funko Pop uh, chocolate cake scented pop. Um, but there are two variants of this Funko Pop, which is driving people crazy. So there is the variant you can get at Barnes and Nobles, or there is a variant that you can get at Funko Headquarters that just has the Funko Headquarters sticker and a scented sticker as well. So that is everything on Funko News today. Hey guys. So this news just came out right before we finished filming our Funko Saturday episode. So I kind of want to add a, add this little bit of extra information to you guys, just in case if you want to know some of the new Funko Pops that just recently uh, came out for pre for pre order and also uh, at the Funko Shop website as well. Uh, for pre order, uh, we have some new Funko Pops that are available for pre order. So we have some new Seven Deadly Sin Funko Pops, a new wave of Godfather Part Two. We also have the Hello Kitty 50th Anniversary Special with a jumbo size Hello Kitty as well if you're interested in that. Um, we also have a new Ghostbusters Frozen Empire wave coming out. Um, we also have three new Entertainment Earth exclusive pops that are available for pre-order as well. Uh, first up, we have Vash the Stampede from Trigun. Um, sorry for butchering the names. Um, we also have a Diamond Gauther from Seven Deadly Sins and a new glow-in-the-dark Fuegoline <laughs> from Black Clover. I apologize for ruining those names. You can destroy me in the comments down below and tell me how to actually pronounce the names. We also have two new Funko Shop exclusives available now on the website. Uh, so we'll have the links down below. Um, first up, we have Spider-Man, a uh, gift for MJ. And then we also have a Scarlet Witch with uh, heart pets. So if you want to buy something nice for your loved ones for Valentine's, you can get those pops. Also, one, th one last thing before I go. Um, we do have a new segment uh, for Funko Saturday. We won't be introducing it now. We'll probably be introducing it on the next episode. But this new segment will be called Pop a Question. So if you have a question for us, uh, either like you want to know what our favorite Funko Pops are, what our favorite category Funko Pops are, our worst experience on like trading pops, you can just uh, ask your questions down below in the comments and then we'll answer it in the next episode of Funko Saturday in our new segment, Pop a Question. So, back to the video. Thank you guys for watching the very first episode of Funko Saturday. We hope you guys enjoy. Bear with us, this is still our first episode. We still have some, you know, nicks and crannies to kind of fix. But hopefully you guys tune in next Saturday for episode two of Funko Saturday. So, adios everybody. And please make sure to subscribe and also leave a like.